There were many heroes that night, and some of their stories are still here to be uncovered. We're on our way to find evidence of two young men who helped save hundreds of lives. The Marconi room was the communications center for the ship. It was manned by two young radio operators, Harold Bride and Jack Phillips. They stayed in the room sending distress messages until the rising water drove them to close down the high voltage equipment and try to save themselves. I think, I think we're in. All right, these are the dynamo, this is the dynamo, which has a, a motor, it's a motor generator combination. Right ahead of us is the control panel that Parks wants us to image. The night before the disaster, the Marconi transmitter broke and no messages could be sent out. With a ship full of rich and powerful people, all wanting to send news home from the maiden voyage, the two young men did what they were absolutely not supposed to do. They fixed the gear themselves. They worked all night and also modified the signals to get more signals out of the machine. Bride and Phillips' willful action was an extraordinary stroke of luck. Less than 24 hours after working all through the night, they were able to use their mended and modified transmitter to send a distress signal to the RMS Carpathia 58 miles away, which rushed to pick up survivors. There's the knife switches. This is right where... Jonathan Phillips switched off the set. Look at that. There's the knife switch in the down position. Yep. And look at these regulators. This is, you can see the left one is cranked all the way over. They were really trying to get the spark up as much as they could as the, as the ship was dying. You can see it right here. This, this is incredible. Part of Titanic's technological hallmarks is this. That's right. And part of what made the story so powerful was, was the rescue. The people who were saved, the 703 who were saved, were saved because of this machine. This machine that we're looking at right here. You know, we're in an, a wireless age right now. Everybody's, you know, it's wireless, wireless everything. But this was an example of, of, you know, at the turn of the last century, it was a wireless age as well. People were enamored of this technology. There's the whole panel right there. There's the knife switch. The handle's knocked off it. Now, the question is, did he leave it in that position or did it get knocked into that position? If they worked right up to the end and seawater was pouring in the door, would you stand there and grab the handle on a 440-volt breaker? I don't know too many people that would. He wasn't stupid. These were smart guys. These were the computer geeks of 1912. So... Either he was incredibly brave, or they left earlier than, they, than Bride said they did later. There's no way of knowing, but one thing is certain. Hundreds of people owed them their lives. Both men ended up in the water and were picked up by lifeboats. Phillips died shortly after being rescued. But Bride went on to reach New York, where he became a media sensation and was feted as a hero.